Yes, Shalom Israel. Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai to all the brothers. Yahweh Hashem Alatan Hashem Yahweh Shai to all the sisters. Peace and Officer Matt Koyak of the Israelite School of Universal Practical Knowledge out here in Trinidad. The Israelite School of Universal Practical Knowledge started out of 1 West, 125th Street, Alam, New York, under Commanding General Yahana. We are out here to teach blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians that they are part of the 12 lost tribes of the nation of Israel. They are the Lord's chosen people. Right? Um, as we see every week out here in Trinidad, we have classes Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Right? Um, right. right? We have classes on Monday, history class, where you can learn the history of Israel, the history of the 12 tribes of Israel. The history of the Lord's chosen people at Officer Maka Kobal. We have um, on Tuesday, Brotherhood. We could come and learn more about brotherhood, sisterhood. Or you should be living with your brother, dealing with your brother, your sister. You know what I mean? Um, with Officer Sawapiala. Right? That is Brotherhood on Tuesday. On Wednesday, we have the law class with myself, Officer Mathquaya. You could come and learn more about the laws, commandments, and statutes of the Most High, and how you should go about um, dealing, keeping the laws, right? We have no class on Thursday, but recommended that we watch the general class, right? Out in, um, out in foreign, we, we, are, we, we should watch his class on a Thursday. That is the scripture breakdown with General Mahayman. On Friday, we have the Hebrew with Officer Yakad. We could come and learn more about the Hebrew language, the ancient Hebrew. Right? You'll we'll be getting into that. Um, on Saturday, we have the Sabbath service again with Officer Yakad. We could come and understand more about the Sabbath, how to keep the Sabbath. We go through where we go through the um the, the books in the Bible, starting from Genesis going up. Right? We'll be reading it in Hebrew and also um, in English, right? We have the scripture breakdown with Officer Galawan. That is our camp leader, Officer Galawan Banyamian. Make sure you um, come to the scripture breakdown class on Sunday where you could get your scriptures broken down. Right? Any questions you have, you could come and ask it on Sundays with Officer Galawan, our camp leader, right? Um, and also, what is important to also watch throughout Israel, throughout the Black, Hispanic, and Native Indian community, that is Black Watch. Commanding General Yahana, where you will get all the issues that's happening, get to understand all the issues that's happening within the Black, Hispanic, and Native Indian community, right? We could also get the solutions and see the destruction that our enemies cause upon us as a people. You know what I mean? Because again, the Mosai separated us, he severed us, Black, Hispanics, and Native Indians from the other people of the world. You know what I mean? He separated us and made us a holy people unto himself. Holy meaning separate. Right? And we, as blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians, are one people. We are supposed to keep the laws, commandments, and statutes of the Most High God. Right? We're not supposed to be celebrating the Christmas and the Easter's and all these pagan holidays. This is not for us to celebrate, right? The Most High gave us high holy days to celebrate, right? Things like the Passover, Feast of Unleavened Bread. You understand the Feast of First Fruits, which will be um, Friday coming, right? Friday coming, the brothers will get into the Feast of First Fruit. They'll break it down for you to understand more about it, right? That this Friday here, um, if you go to the train that on Tobago page, I think um, one of the officers done put up the invitation for the Feast of First Fruits, right? Again, the most I give us those days to celebrate the Day of Atonement, Feast of Tabernacles, Dedication, Purim, right? Hakanaka. All these are the high holy days that the most I give us to follow, give us to keep as blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians. You understand? And when we don't keep these laws, and we keep the laws of, and we, we go into the, 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 the feast, the holy days, the, the holidays, Salakia, of the heathens, we integrate with them. You understand? So we lost all judgment with de when dealing with our own. When dealing with our own people, our own brothers and sisters, we lost all, all judgment because we integrate with these other nations, these hedonic nations, when of course the Mosai said that we are not 
to integrate with them. We are not to make marriages with these heathen nations. We are not to celebrate their customs. In the book of Jeremiah, the Most High say, learn not the way of the heathens. We are not supposed to learn nothing to do. We are not supposed to follow nothing to eat in terms of the, the clean and unclean meats. We are not supposed to follow their holidays. Maybe Eid, Pagwa, Diwali, whatsoever it is. Christmas, Easter, these things is not for you blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians. Again, as I just was saying a little while ago, the most I give us the laws to follow. Give us high holy days. Tell us how to deal with our own people. You know what I mean? Um, so with that, again, what is very important for us to know as a people is that the Christian church is not out here to help us. Right? Because they go about telling you the laws of the Most High done away with. And that Christ comes for everyone. Christ loves everyone, everybody, all nations, all creed, all races on the, the face of the earth. And that is not so. The Most High did not come for everyone. The Most High come for the so-called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians, as I, as we always say. Right? He come for those locked down in, in John John, Silots, you understand? Arima, Point, Library, all these places, Carbro, Roxboro, over in Tobago, all the islands, Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians, wherever you scatter, you was the person that Christ came for. Christ came for no other nation. You know what I mean? When you, again, when you go to the, 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 the Bible, it is only relating to Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians. Of course, the other nations are in the Bible. The East Indians are in the Bible, the Syrians, the Chinese, the Africans. You understand? All these hedonic nations is in the Bible. But the Christian pastor wouldn't show you what role they fit in. They wouldn't show you what role you fit in as a black, Hispanic, and native Indian man. They just grab you and tell you he's African. He's not African. You understand? These hidden nations are in the scriptures. But you're on, when a pastor is, is unlearned and he reach me, see words like Elam and Ammon and Moab, he wouldn't know that Elam is the East Indians. So you'll just keep over that and continue reading. If he decided to go in the Bible this Sunday. You understand? When you see things like Ammon and, 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 and Moab, the Chinese and the Japanese, right? Skip over that and you go. So now you reading the scriptures and, and going to church, you're not understanding that. Who are these people in the scriptures? Who are these people in the Bible? Who the Mosai talking to? Who the Mosai saying that, that judgment will come to them? You understand? Of course, we think we know... Christ to watching movies and cartoons and stuff like that. So when we read for our own self, we think that was back then. That was a long time ago. That have no relevance to today. You understand? When the Bible have relevance to today, to the, to today the Bible is for you, so-called black man, Hispanic man, and native Indian man. Right? So what we're going to do, we're going to go to the book of Matthew chapter 10 and verse 5. We're going to start there, right? And then we will... Go to the rest of scriptures, right? So we'll start with Matthew chapter 10 and verse 5. Matthew chapter 10 and verse 5. Let's now hold one minute, eh? Mom, make sure I'm with you here. Right, so Matthew chapter 10 and verse 5. Where? These 12 Jesus sent forth and the, commanded them saying. You understand? So these 12, the 12 disciples Jesus sent forth. And give them our order. You understand? Of course, Christ, Yahweh Shiny, he was at that time, he was the highest ranking man over the 12 the people that he had. So he given them the order. Right? Go ahead. Go not into the way of the Gentiles. Do what? Go not in the way of the Gentiles. You understand? So he's saying, don't go into the way of the, the Gentiles. Right? He's commanding them not to go in the way of the other nations. Right? Of course, the Christian pastor, when you read this here, and let you know that Christ telling his disciples, don't go, don't go to the hidden nations. Go ahead. And in and into any city of mm -hmm. the Samaritans. Enter ye not. You understand? And into the city of the Samaritans, don't go there either. Don't enter into that city. Alright, go ahead. We're sick. Mm -hmm. But go rather to the lost sheep of but, the house of Israel. But go ahead. But go. But go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. You understand? And out of Christ's mouth, he is saying, Go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. You understand? When the Most High say, Go not into the way of the Gentiles. You understand? He's talking about these other hedonic nations. 
crisis saying don't go into the way of the Elams, the Chinese, you understand, the Syrians, the Africans, the so-called white man. You understand who is Edom in the Bible? Don't go to these nations. You understand? But go rather to who? The lost sheep of the house of Israel. You understand? But go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Who are the lost sheep of the house of Israel? You so-called blacks, Hispanics, and native Indians. Caribs and Arabs out here in Trinidad and Tobago, right? You are the lost sheep of the house of Israel. You are the ones who Christ told his disciples to go to. You understand? Not all nations on the earth. Christ never sent his disciples to the heathens. He never sent them to no East Indians, no Syrians, no Africans. He never sent them in there. He sent them to you, so-called black man, Hispanic man, native Indian man. You understand? Go ahead. Verse 7. Mm -hmm. And as you go preach sin, mm -hmm. the kingdom of heaven is at hand. You understand? So you say, as you go preach sin, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Well, let me step back a little bit. You understand? Because Christ saying, go rather to the lordship of the house of Israel. Of course, I just say, blacks, Hispanics, and native Indians, you are the lost. You are the lordship of the house of Israel, who Christ sent out his disciples to. You understand? Why? You are the ones that was lost. You are the ones that don't know your, your culture, your history, your laws. You understand? And our people don't even know who we are. These other nations, they conspired against us, as you read in the book of Psalms, so that we will be cut off. We name our name when we know more in remembrance. Christ is sending his disciples to you. Just like when we go out on the streets in Port of Spain or wherever we go, and we come in these classes, we are going to our people. We are going to the lost sheep at the house of Israel. Because what? We was once lost. <clears throat> we was once that lost sheep. You understand? And we come into this understanding of the knowledge of the truth in the ISUPK under commanding General Anna. We now have to go out and continue looking for the lost sheep. Brothers that don't know that they are Israelites. Sisters don't know they are Israelites. You understand? Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians that don't know that they keep the Lord's commandments and statutes of the Mosai. Stop smoking weed. You understand? Stop being an alcoholic. Stop celebrating these pagan holidays. You know what I mean? And come back to the, 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 the high holy days that the Mosai give for you to keep throughout your generations. You understand? Again, as I say, we had the Feast of Fruits, which coming up Friday. That is what you're supposed to be celebrating. Not Eid will fit here. And when Eid was last weekend, not Eid and, and them pagan okay. holidays. Your high holiday coming up that the most I gave you to keep. Right? Um, go ahead. Let's go to verse 7 again. Matthew chapter 10 and verse 7. Mm -hmm. And as you go preach sin, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. You understand? So Christ is saying as you go, Preach saying the kingdom of heaven is at hand. You understand? When you go out to blacks, Hispanics, and native Indians, give them that good word, give them that good tidings, give them that hope. You understand? Brothers and sisters that locked down in the ghetto that, that feel all right. There's it. There's my life here. Smoke weed, play with guns, commit adultery, do every sinful act. You understand? When that is not your life. Christ say go out. And preach saying the kingdom of heaven is at hand. You understand? This is what, when, when you go outside and preach your brothers and sisters, this is the hope that you give them. To make them know that this is not, this is not the only thing outside there for them. You understand what I'm saying? Go ahead, to verse 8. Verse 8. Mm -hmm. Heal the sick. Mm -hmm. Cleanse the leper. Do what? Cleanse the leper. Start from the top again. Heal the sick. Mm -hmm. Cleanse the leper. Raise the dead. Cast out devils. Freely you have received. Freely give. You understand? And Christ is saying, heal the sick. You understand? When you go outside there and you heal, how, how you go outside there and heal the sick? You understand? Because people into homosexuality and lesbianism and smoking marijuana and, and and cigarettes and all these different things they are the they are the ones that are sick 
committing adultery and all these different things. They are the ones that are sick. So when you say heal is sick and we go out and show them these are the things that they're not supposed to be doing. They are going to get healed. They are the ones that, that sick will that will be get healed, like Christ talking about. You understand? Go ahead. Heal the sick. Yes, take it, take it on me top again. Matthew chapter 10 of verse 8. Mm -hmm. Heal the sick. Mm -hmm. Cleanse the lepers. Go ahead. Raise the dead. You understand? And you say raise the dead. And that is what we brothers in the ISUPK on that commanding general Hannah is doing. We raising the dead. Because spiritually, our people out there, they are dead. They are lost. You understand? They ain't physically dead lying on the ground all over the place or in their houses. They're dead of knowing who they are. They're dead of to the Lord's commandments and statutes of the Mosai. Our people out there, they are dead. They are spiritually dead. You understand? And when we go out there and we teach this word, we give them the truth according to the scriptures, they where they get life. They where they are not dead anymore. Because even from my own self, I was once dead. You understand? And then when I hear brothers bringing this word, is when I get life. When you're out there in the world and, and you're not doing according to the Lord's commandments and statutes of the Most High, you're doing every sinful act. As a brother or a sister, you're dead. You understand? As a husband or a wife or a father or a mother, you're dead. The life, the life of the Most High is not in you as yet. And our Christian pastors and, and leaders, they are the ones that lead us astray. They are the ones that keep us dead. You understand? Go ahead. Freely, you have received what? freely gifts. Just now, I feel you missed something. Read it again from your oh, top. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no sweat. Heal the sick. Mm -hmm. Cleanse the lepers. So heal the sick. Cleanse the lepers. Go ahead. Raise the dead. Raise, raise our people out of the, 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 the mind state that they're in. You understand? Go ahead. Cast out devils. Do what? Cast out devils. You understand? And they cast out devils. Because when you bring in this word to, to, to our people, and they stop being hoes, stop being lesbians, stop being homosexuals, come off crack, stop eating pork, crab, shrimp, and lobster, you understand? You casting out that devil that is in them. You understand what I'm saying? Go ahead. Really? Mm -hmm. You have received it. Right? Really? Give. So we coming into this truth on that commanding general Hannah. We freely receive this. We freely receive this truth. You understand? So now what? We have to freely give. We have to freely give it to our brothers and sisters. You understand? But again, Christian pastors, they're not freely given because they have to bring tithes, offering, and love gifts. You understand? They will write books on, on the word and the Mosai. Put a thousand scriptures in those books and then sell it to their own people. You understand? Most I say freely give, freely receive, freely give. You understand what I'm saying? Alright? From the game of Matthew 28 and 19. Yeah, go ahead when you have it. Matthew chapter 28 and verse 19. Mm -hmm. Go you therefore mm -hmm. and teach all nations. Go what? Go you therefore and teach all nations. So now, the most I was saying before when you read earlier, I won't go nothing to the way of the Gentiles. Right? But now we're saying do what? Get it from the top? Go you therefore and teach all nations. Go you therefore and teach all nations. What does that mean? You feel like me? So like you said, that, right. that telling you, the all nations, all nations, they go feel like is all them Arabs and Chinese. Of and, course, they go feel as that. And, you understand? And Africans and them, but that talking about the, the, the 12 different tribes we have in the nation of Israel. You understand? Okay, you're correct. You say go, read it from your top. Go you therefore and mm -hmm. teach all nations. And teach all nations. So when Christians hear that, they say, well, right. Christ come for everybody. Go and teach all nations. But of course, Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians, they were scattered in all nations. You understand what I'm saying? So when Christ saying, go you not into the way of the Gentiles, you're not supposed to go into these hidden nations. But go to your people, Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians. You understand what I'm saying? That is what Christ is talking about. Give me Acts chapter 2 and verse 5. 
Christ didn't come for everybody. Christ didn't come for no East Indian and no Chinese and no African. Christ didn't come for them. Christ come for, for, for blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians who in, get, in the ghettos not knowing who they are, who are in the, in the ghettos under oppression. You understand? Go ahead. Acts chapter 2 and verse 5. Mm -hmm. And they were dwelling, dwelling at Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. Jews. They were dwelling what? And they were dwelling at Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. Jews. Mm -hmm. Devout men. Devout men. Go ahead. Out of every nation out under of heaven. Out of where? Under, out of every nation you under heaven. So they were Jews. Devout men. Out of every nation. Out of heaven. You understand? Just like how we have Jews in Trinidad. Devout men. You understand? And we have men in Texas, in the UK, in Jamaica. It's like that. No difference. These is the people that Christ that, that Christ sent his disciples to. Black, Hispanics, and Native Indian men in all nations. You understand? Go ahead. Die verse, die in verse 5. Okay. All right. So, well, give me Matthew chapter 8 and 11 now. It's very important that you understand that Christ didn't come out for everybody. Christ came for his people, his chosen people. The ones that he said is to be holy and separate above all nations on the face of the earth. You understand? Go ahead. Matthew chapter 8 and verse 11. Mm -hmm. And I say unto you mm -hmm. that many shall come from the east mm -hmm. and west and shall sit down. 18 and 11, right? 18 and 11. Yeah. 18 and 11. Yeah, that's right, right. Matthew chapter 18 and verse 11. Mm -hmm. For the Son of Man is come to save that which was lost. He come to save that what? Which was lost. So Christ, the Son of Man, words in red here. Christ saying, for the Son of Man is came to save that which was lost. You understand? And when you look back at any point in time, the East Indians wasn't lost. The Syrians wasn't lost. The Africans wasn't lost. You understand? But the 12 tribes of Israel, they were lost. They were the ones that, that the Mosai again sent his disciples to. They are the lost sheep of the house of Israel. You understand? Give me 15 and 24. You say Matthew, but give me 15 and 24. No other hidden hedonic nation wasn't lost. You understand what I'm saying? But blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians, you are the lost ones. You are the ones who nobody knows. Go ahead. Matthew 15 and verse 24. Mm -hmm. But he answered and said, but he, did what? But he answered and said, mm -hmm. I am not sent mm -hmm. but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. You understand? So Christ. <coughs> so like, yeah. Christ coming again and saying he was not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Christ was only for you so-called black Hispanics and Native Indians. All religious, religious leaders wouldn't tell us that. And they will have us joining hands with these Hedonic nations, integrating with them, and lost in touch of everything that the Mosai tell us to do. All high holy days he tell us to keep. You understand? And because we start following them, we start following their ways. We start following their customs, their ideologies, their philosophies. We start following them, and then we don't know how to deal with our brother. We don't understand how to deal with our wives and our children, our parents. You understand? And then we look on the news, and you see our people getting gone down and killed. Even by, our, by the hands of our own people, we start asking questions. But of course, who is to blame? Our religious leaders is to blame because these are the ones that say the laws are the most I done away with. So if the laws are the most I done away with, you understand? Now it could start to kill. Now it could start to steal. Now it could start to commit adultery. You understand? And where there is no law in any place, in any nation, in any household, chaos is going to reside there so when we look at when we look out to the news in trinidad here or in tobago and we see chaos it's because there is no law and when you're talking about the laws are, are, are the land 
We talk about the laws of the Most High. Our brothers and sisters, they don't know. And that is in the hands of our religious leaders. The people who are supposed to be our strong tower. Do you understand? Give me Deuteronomy chapter 6 and verse 1 from verse 1. Go ahead. Deuteronomy chapter 6 and verse 1. Mm -hmm. You give me down to verse 6, right? Come, come. Okay, go ahead. Now these are the commandments. Mm -hmm. this, and now these are the commandments, the statutes, and the judgment which the Lord your God commanded to teach you. Mm -hmm. That you that you might do them in the land whether you go to possess it. Right? So these are the commandments that the Mosai give us for us to keep. The commandments, the statutes, and the judgment that the Mosai give Moses so that he will teach us. And we used to do what? Follow it. We used to keep it. Go ahead. Verse 2. Mm -hmm. That thou mightiest say the Lord thy God. That thou might what? That thou mightiest fear the Lord thy God. You understand that we might fear the Lord our power. The Lord our God. Go ahead. To keep all his statutes mm -hmm. and his commandments mm -hmm. which I command thee. All right. Go ahead. Thou you. And Mm -hmm. Thou and thy son, mm -hmm. and thy son's son, Go ahead. all the days of thy life. You understand? So we, we, we don't understand this. We don't understand that we're supposed to keep the commandments, statutes, and, 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 and laws at the most side. Who's supposed to keep it? Us, our children, and our children's children, all the days of our life. Not sometimes, not partially. We're supposed to keep these laws all the days of our lives, and it's supposed to go through our generations. You understand? But of course, Christians say, religious leaders say the laws are the most high done. So we ain't supposed to keep that. So when we don't know how to deal with one another, it's because of the religious leaders, it's because of the Christian church. You understand? When sons turning homosexuals and daughters turning lesbians, it's because of the Christian church. They are the ones who are supposed to teach them the laws. They are the ones who are supposed to let us know in the Christian church, Salakia. Let the Christian church know they are the ones, they are supposed to keep the laws. We as a people supposed to keep these laws, commandments, and statutes. Go ahead. And that thy days mm -hmm. may be prolonged. You understand? So that our days will be prolonged. Our, our days will be long on this earth. You understand? And if we, know this, if we knew this as a people, of course, we wouldn't be integrating into these other nations. But we will be separated. Because the most I give us things to follow, Lord's commandments and statutes to follow. You understand? Go ahead. Verse 3. Mm -hmm. Hear therefore, O Israel. Hear what? Hear therefore, O Israel. Hear therefore, blacks, Hispanics, and native Indians. Go ahead. And observe to do it, mm -hmm. that it may be well with thee. Do what? O Israel. Mm -hmm. And observe to do it, mm -hmm. that it, it may be well with thee. You understand? So he's saying here, O Israel, O blacks, Hispanics, and native Indians, observe and do it. Don't just observe it alone. Observe and do it. Keep the feast of, of first fruits are coming up. Keep the Passover. You understand? Keep Hakanaka. Keep Purim. Keep the Day of Atonement. Observe it and do it. Right? Go ahead. It may be well with thee. That it might be well with thee. That it might be well with you. Go ahead. And that you may increase mm -hmm. mightily as the Lord God of thy fathers had promised thee. Right? And you is going to increase mightily just like the Most High had promised. Right? Go ahead. In the land that floweth with milk and honey. In the what? In the land that floweth with milk and honey. You understand? In the land that floweth with milk and honey. Go ahead. Verse 4. Mm -hmm. Hear, O Israel. Hear who? Hear, O Israel. Mm -hmm. The Lord our God is one Lord. The Lord our power is one God. The Lord our power is not integrated with other gods. The Lord our God, our power is not in Allah, is not in Krishna, is not in Buddha, is not in Hanuman, is not in, in, in Brahma, Vishnu, Naira, Shiva. Our power is one God. You understand? Go ahead. Verse 6, mm -hmm. 
And these words which I command thee this day mm -hmm. shall be in thy heart. You understand? And the words that Moses told us, we're supposed to always keep it in our hearts, in our mind. We're supposed to always remember that. Remember, I say, you're supposed to keep these commandments, laws and statutes in your generations to your sons and your sons' sons. You, your sons, and your sons' sons. You understand? Go ahead. Verse mm -hmm. Verse 7. Mm -hmm. And thou shalt teach them. And you should what? And thou shalt teach them mm -hmm. diligently. You should teach them diligently. You should always continually teach them. Go ahead. Unto thy children. Unto who? Unto thy children. Mm -hmm. And shall take and shall talk mm -hmm. of them when thou sittest in thy house. Go ahead. And when thou walkest by the ways. Mm -hmm. And when thou liest down. Mm -hmm. And when thou risest up. Right? So you're supposed to continually teach your children this. This is supposed to be continue When you're lying down, when you're sleeping, when you're awake. This is supposed to be your life. Keeping these laws, commandments, and statutes is supposed to be your life. It's supposed to be the life of your children and your children, children, children. So like here. You understand? Because it's supposed to go throughout your generation. The laws of God is still in effect. The laws of God is not done away with. Our Christian leaders are lying. Our pastors are lying when they say the laws of God are done away with. They who have Trinidad in a mess right now. Christian leaders and teachers is the ones who have Trinidad in a mess right now with all this killing and so forth. They are the ones. You understand what I'm saying? Because what they thought are going through Facebook and I see in um this pastor in Chicago on Wednesday. Pastor Coffee. Yeah. You understand? Talking about COVID nineteen and it's what it's something like it's time to COVID nineteen come about it because it's time to to rest and breed or some kind of craziness. So he talking about you understand? And he ain't going in, in the scripture to let you know that this COVID nineteen is is the the the, the most I wrought that kindle upon these hidden nations for the oppression that they're doing to so called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians. You understand? He ain't going inside and talk about COVID-19. He does lock up. None of these religious leaders ain't going in and talk about... Right? Up to now, I hear nobody talk about COVID-19 and the Mosai rod. They ain't talking about the Mosai kill and make alive. He kill. They ain't talking about that. You understand? But the making sure before the sermon done, you have to come in and pay your tithes online or, or, or put it in front of the church door so that somebody that have, they will come and collect it. Our religious leaders, they feel in us real bad. Real, real, real bad. Go ahead. That is in verse 7. Give me Leviticus 20 and, and 26. To order. Leviticus chapter 20 and verse 26. Mm -hmm. And you shall be holy unto me. You shall be what? And you shall be holy unto me. You understand? Holy being separate, of course. Go ahead. For I, the Lord, am holy. Mm -hmm. And have served you from other people. Severed. Severed you mm -hmm. from other people. You understand? The Most High is saying that he is holy also. He is separate. And he had severed us from other people. That what? That you should be mine. You understand? That you should be the Lord's portion. Of course, we don't understand our position. We don't understand that we're supposed to be separate from these other nations. The Christian pastors tell us the laws are God done away with. So now we integrate with these other nations. We start keeping their laws. We start keeping their customs. You understand? But if we know this, that the most high severed us, separate us from these other nations, of course we will continue striving for separation and not integration. You understand? But they ain't teaching us that. But it here in the scriptures, and of course the ISUP key on that command in general, Hannah, we're going to bring out these things that the Christian pastor is not going to bring out. The most I say, that what? Take it from the top on 26. Leviticus chapter 20 and verse 26. Mm -hmm. And you shall be holy unto me. Mm -hmm. For I, the Lord, am holy. Yep. Right. And have severed you from other people. Mm -hmm. That you should be mine. That you should be the most high's own, the most high's portion. Go ahead. Verse 27. Mm -hmm. A man also 
for woman that had a familiar spirit. No, no, no. That is the end of verse 26, right? Okay, okay. Right. That is the end of it. So the most high now separate us from being for and separate us from for from the other nations. You understand? Again, of course, if you knew this, we will continue fighting for this. We will continue being separate. This is when we come out on the street, we say the scriptures say, gather yourself together, O nation, not desire. Zephaniah chapter 2 and verse 1. We is the ones not desired. Blacks, Hispanics, have Native Indians. We is the one not desired by these other nations. You understand? And the Most High saying that he severed us. He made us holy. He made us separate from these other nations. It's time for us to gather with our own. Right? Give me Jude chapter 1. Old Jeremiah chapter 23 and verse 1. Right? And we'll go to Jude chapter 1 and verse 8. Right? Jude chapter 1 and verse 8. Likewise, also, these filthy dreamers defile the flesh. What do you think that means? These filthy dreamers defile the flesh. Yes. Uh, evil, evil, thinking to do evil, right you. Mm -hmm. Of course, you understand? And that is the people we follow in the world. That is the Christian pastors and our religious leaders and our politicians, of course. You understand? They are the ones. They are the ones. They are the filthy dreamers. Go um. I will. Oh, I forget. I was reading right. Okay. Filthy dreamers defy the flesh. Despise dominion and speak evil of dignities. They despise dominion and speak evil of dignities. They don't want to speak good things about the Most High. They don't want to speak good things that the Most High set out in this Bible. You understand? They speak evil of it. They say the laws are God are done away with. They don't want to hear. When you say the laws are God in done away with, they don't want to hear that. You understand? And these dreamers, of course, these dreamers are sinners. These, these dreamers do everything that the Mosai say. They do everything opposite Salakia to what the Mosai say to do. You understand? Give me the Jeremiah chapter 23. Jeremiah chapter 23 and verse 1. Mm -hmm. Woe be unto the pastors that destroy and scatter. The sheep of my pasture. You understand? And of course, woe means death or destruction. You understand? So he's saying what? Destruction to the religious leaders. You understand? Because why? They are the ones not leading our people. They are the ones that keep us lost. They are the ones that have black, Hispanic, and native Indians not knowing who their God is, who their power is. Right? Go ahead. You give me up what one to four, right? Eh? Mm -hmm. Saying the Lord. Mm -hmm. Verse 2. Mm -hmm. Therefore, thus saith the Lord, mm -hmm. God of Israel. The Lord God of who? Lord God of Israel. The Lord God of blacks, Hispanics, and native Indians. Go ahead. Against the pastors mm -hmm. that feed my people. That do what? That feed my people. So against the pastors that teach the, the, low, the most size holy ones, the most size separate ones. Go ahead. You have scattered my flock. You have done what? You have scattered my flock. You have scattered the Mosai flock. How would all the scatter the Mosai flock? By reintegrating with these other nations. By us going into um, Rastafarianism, Christianity, Islam, and all these different things. Go ahead. And driven them away. And do what? And driven them away. Mm -hmm. And have not visited them. And have not what? Visit them. You understand? And they not they never came and checked for us. They never see if the things that, that we're doing is right in the eyes of the Mosai. Right? Go ahead. Behold, mm -hmm. I will visit upon you. I will do what? Behold, I will visit upon you mm -hmm. the evil of your doing. You understand? So the Mosai will visit upon them the evil of, of their doing. If you read further up when we see in verse 1, when you say one to the pastors, I destruction, the most is going to destroy them. You understand? Because they are the ones, they're not protecting us. They're not giving us the word and the Mosai for it for we to be protected as a people. You understand? They are the ones making us integrate, making us vote, and all these different things. And of course, we're not supposed to be voting as a people. Go ahead. Straight up to verse 4, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Saying the Lord, mm -hmm. verse 3. And I will gather the remnants of my flock. And he will do what? I will gather the remnants of my flock. Mm -hmm. 
Out of all countries. Out of where? Out of all countries. You understand? The most I see Gala is flock out of all countries. Out of all where blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians were scattered. Go ahead. Whether I have whether I driven them. Mm -hmm. When he have driven us to the transatlantic slave trade, we were sold unto our enemies for bondmen and bondwomen. Go ahead. And will bring them again to their fools. And will do what? And bring them again to their fools. Mm -hmm. And they shall be fruitful mm -hmm. and increase. They shall be what? And they shall be fruitful and increase. So even in, even although we're in this condition that we're in right now as a people, the Most High is saying He's the one is going to gather us, and we're going to be fruitful and we're going to increase. You understand? This is not this is not our rest. This is not the position that we're supposed to be in as a people. You understand? Because again, the Most High say that He He, he wants us to be above all people in the face of the earth. You understand? And of course, we didn't keep the Lord's commandment and statutes of the Most High. So we fell. We fell into this position. You understand? And the Bible is here to make us come out. Because now we're reading our, our, our records. We're keeping our Lord's commandments and statutes. We're seeing the destruction happening all over the place because the most Iraq is kindled upon these hidden nations. You understand? This is not the position that, we is, we, that we're going to stay in once we keep the Lord's commandments and statutes of, of the most High. Again, that's why in Zephaniah they say, gather yourself together, O nation, not desire. It's time to gather. Keep your Lord's commandment and statutes with your own people. Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians. Right? Go ahead. One day. That is in um, four? No, oh, yeah, 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 go ahead. Yeah, and, and when, it, when, it, when it check like what it moves, I say, now we will be in, like, we will be fruitful and increase and mm -hmm. all right? So when they, when, like, when they watch it today in America and all too, like, they were the, like, they're putting all them walls and things to keep out. One of we one of we tribes out there. Right. Then after now it's like you know like all them brothers and sisters now like when they do when they do something wrong they put and then back to wherever mm -hmm. country they come from because like you know what they're checking is now that the Hispanics and all the Negroes are passing them in numbers. Uh, they know that as they say they know we record and they've seen it and they've all seen it. Know, they've seen but all this oppression is still going on. Mm -hmm. You're yeah, correct. Just like when we was in Egypt. You understand? Yeah. They say they, they, they're going before they grow mighty and, and more powerful. Paraphrasing, hard bondage. Yeah. You understand? <laughs> hard bondage. Go ahead. We're straight. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, we like yeah, four. Yeah. And I will set up shepherds. And I will do what? And I will set up shepherds mm -hmm. over them. Mm -hmm. We shall feed them. You understand? So the Moses is saying he's going to see. Is the one going to set up shepherds over them, over the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians? Who is going to do what? We shall feed them, mm -hmm. and they shall fear no more. You understand? So now these shepherds are going to feed them, and they are going to fear no more. You understand what I'm saying? Of course, again, the ICPK is here, set up by the Lord to feed the people, to feed our blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indian brothers and sisters. You understand? These are the shepherds that the Most High has set up. Go ahead. No be dismayed. Mm -hmm. Neither shall they be lacking, saying the Lord. You understand? We wouldn't be dismayed and we wouldn't be lacking, say the Most High. Because why? No, we will, when we keep these records, when we keep these Lord's commandments and statutes, now we will understand how to have brotherhood, how to have sisterhood. Of course, there will be brothers and sisters who mightn't have more than or as much as others. But in the ICPK, keeping these laws, commandments, and statutes, brothers is brothers. Meaning what? If you don't have, you still have. If you still have, you still have. You understand? That is brotherhood. These are the things we're learning from the scriptures. These are the things that we keep in general. You understand? Um, that is it on that? Okay. Right. Give me um, Isaiah chapter 56 and verse 10. Mm -hmm, go ahead. Isaiah chapter 56 and verse 10. Mm -hmm. His watchmen are blind. His what? His watchmen 
are blind. You understand? So these religious leaders, these watchmen, they are blind. They're not seeing trouble coming. A watchman is somebody who's supposed to see and keep watch. A load of people are things that, that is to come, things that are happening. You understand? But he's saying that the watch, these watchmen are blind. You understand? Go ahead. They are all ignorant. They are what? They are all ignorant. Mm -hmm. They are all dumb dogs. You understand? They are all ignorant. They are all dumb dogs. You understand? Because these watchmen can't see that integration. If we integrate with these other nations, this is what keeps us away from our, our power. You understand? They just want to keep us in the Christian church singing and dancing and they're not watching out for the dangers that are not, that, that happening. You understand? In the ICBK, they've been promising prophesying Salakia about all these dangers that are going to come to America, all these plagues, all these pestilence. You understand? We're reading the scriptures and the most I see all these, these, these diseases will come upon you if you don't keep the laws, commandments, and statutes on the most I. What's the state of America right now? You understand? What's the state of our people? We've been prophesying these things and letting them know, hey, this is how it, this is what going down, this is what coming, this is what's going to happen. Now we hear in these last days, continually coming and saying, gather yourself together, O nation, not desired. Look at what's happening now. These, these race was looking to come out. You understand? Out here in Trinidad, they done, they done trickling down already. We reach, they, nobody reached to the streets yet. But when you go and see social media, you see now these other nations attacking Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians. You understand? Go ahead. They cannot back. They what? They cannot back. Back. If you watch, the, if you watch our dog is a dog. What? When a dog bark, they alert the people. They cannot bark. They can't alert nobody. You understand? They can't even alert the own people in the Christian church when danger coming between one another right inside there. You understand? Go ahead. Sleeping. They doing what? Sleeping. Mm -hmm. Lying down. Loving to slumber. You understand? Sleeping, lying down, loving to slumber. They just lazy. They don't want to do what the most I tell them to do. You understand? They don't want to do their job. They, they're incapable of doing what they're supposed to do as, as, as guides for our people. You understand? Go ahead. Verse, verse 11. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they are greedy dogs. They are what? Yeah, they are greedy dogs. You understand? They are greedy dogs. There is, um, yeah, right? They are greedy dogs. Christian leaders and pastors and, and imams and and, and the politicians, they are greedy dogs. They're just seeing about themselves. They don't want to go down in Silots and see what's happening. They don't want to go down in Kumoto. They want to go in Jonjon and all the rural areas. They don't want to go in them areas and see what's happening. You understand? COVID-19 bust. All they're waiting for is the, the, how much? The $30 million from the government. Nobody coming out and going down in these areas and see what people want, what they need. You understand? Long before the, even before the, the, the coronavirus bust the ICPK, we all up in silots, helping our people. We all over helping our people, all down in um, any cafes during the, the COVID-19 and all. You understand? We all over. But these religious leaders, they just lock the doors and they're staying online and pretending they, they, they're teaching the, the words of the Mosai when they just greedy dogs. They just want things for themselves. They still want to see what they can scrape from you. All of the place on that lockdown and nobody can go to work. You understand? Go ahead. Which can never have enough. Which can what? Which can never have enough. You understand? And these Christian leaders, they could never have enough. These religious leaders, they could never have enough. They will continually want and want and want and want more and more. They can't have enough. You understand? The tithes, offering, and love gifts, that is not enough. Church move from Sunday to when? To Monday to, um, to Wednesday and Friday. You understand? The tides on Sunday alone is not enough. So it had it having service, um, we just call it Bible class on Friday. You say other pay tides. Um men's conference on Wednesday. And all these different things they start integrating. They, they want more. They could never have enough. You understand? And you not being in the truth in the ICPK, you just following blind and giving what you do have to these pastors and to these pastors and the, and the scriptures saying they could never have enough. You understand? They never satisfy. Go ahead. 
And they are shepherds that cannot understand. And they are what? And they are shepherds that cannot understand. They understand? And they are shepherds that can't understand. They can't understand that the, the position that blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians in is because they sin against the Most High. They can't understand that. When they go into the scriptures to try and break it down for you, to read it for you, they, just, they can't understand that either. These Christian and religious leaders, they can't understand nothing in this book. They can't understand or come up with a solution to help our people out of the situations and the positions that they're in. You understand? Go ahead. They all look to their own ways. They what? They all look to their own ways. They all look to their own ways. You understand? All these Christian churches and Muslim must everybody on their own agenda. None of these churches not speaking the same thing. They all look to their own ways, their own gain, their own greed, their own loss, their own philosophy and ideologies and whatsoever. They, they all look to their own ways. None of these Christian churches are talking the same. But in the ICPK, every school, every class that come online, we all speak the same thing. You understand? You know the friends. Go ahead. Everyone for his gain. Mm -hmm. Everyone for his gain. Go ahead. From his quarter. Mm -hmm. Daniel 9 11. Everyone for his gain for his quarter. These Christian pastors, they are about themselves. You understand? They are about their own gain. They want to see what, what they could get. They want to see what portion they could have. You understand? You don't see churches teaming up and coming together to help the poor. You don't see them coming together to, to help those in those sick in the hospital and in the ghettos and through all this whole COVID-19 pandemic. You see none of these churches come together, like five, six, seven churches come together and help all these places, all these people that, that in the ghettos and stuff like that. They don't do that. And they'll never come together to do that. They're on their own gain. They want to see what they could get for their own self. You understand what I'm saying? And make you feel special. Make you feel holy. When in everything they're just trying to take what they have, what, what they want from you. You understand? Because they are Christian when they once they're, once they're going to church, they're holy, they're saved, and they're sanctified. And the Christian church just teaching you how to be selfish. You understand? When it's not just about you alone, it's about your nation. It's about your whole nation, nation of blacks, Hispanics, and native Indian. Every brother and sister. You understand? It's not just about you being holy, saved, and sanctified. Right? Give me, um, give me, Matthew 23 and 13. Give me 13 to 14. Right? Because it's time for us to wake up as a people and understand, again, Christ didn't come for everybody and the Christian church will not teach you that. You understand what I'm saying? Go ahead. Matthew chapter 23 and verse... 23 and 13. Yeah, 13 to 14. Matthew chapter 23 and verse 13. Mm -hmm. But woe unto you scribes and Pharisees. But what? But woe unto you scribes and Pharisees. You understand? But 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 woe unto you scribes and Pharisees. Destruction to you scribes and Pharisees. Go ahead. Hypocrites. Mm -hmm. For you shut up the kingdom of heaven. For you do what? For you shut up the kingdom of heaven mm -hmm. against men. You understand? You shut up the kingdom of heaven against men. You're not teaching men that are supposed to keep the Lord's commandments and statutes at the Most High. You're not teaching them to keep the Most High high holy days. You're not teaching them who they are as a people. You shut up the kingdom of heaven against them. Because when they tell them the laws are the most high done, done away with, that is a big padlock on the gate. That is a big padlock on the door. That shut up the kingdom of heaven. They can't find it. They have no idea how to go about finding it. You understand? Go ahead. For you go neither go in yourselves. You do what? For you go neither Go in yourselves. You understand? Because you are not going neither yourself. Because you're just, they're teaching lies. They're teaching our people to sin against God. You understand? 
Because if all people don't always sin, sin is the transgression of the law. Of course, you have to keep the law. Because it's laying in way violating they're violating the law. So then now you have to go and see what laws you need to keep. You understand? Go ahead. Neither suffer you them that are entering to go in. Mm -hmm. Verse 14. Yeah. Verse 14. Woe unto you scribes and Pharisees. Mm -hmm. Hypocrites. Destruction to you so-called religious leaders. Go ahead. For you devour widows. For you do what? For you devour widows. Mm -hmm. Houses. Mm -hmm. And for pretense make long prayers. You understand? Prayers. You devour widows' houses. You, de you devour the houses of of of, of, our, of of the poor people, of our poor women. You don't have. You want to take the last from our people, the last from people from, from single mothers who might be ailing from um, of, of some bad relationship they might have. When they come into the Christian church looking for that hope, they devour them. You understand? Pay your tithes, pay your offerings, pay your love gifts. You understand? You want to take everything they have. Go ahead. Therefore, mm -hmm. you shall receive the greater damnation. You shall receive what? The greater damnation. You understand? So now Christ is saying that you shall receive the greater damnation. You shall receive the greater punishment. You understand? Give me, um, from there, give me, um, Matthew 23 and verse 25. Yeah, Matthew 23 and verse 25. Just scroll along a bit more. Down, down. Mm -hmm. Matthew chapter 23 and verse 25. Mm -hmm. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees. Understand? More destruction to the scribes and Pharisees. Christ continually spoke about. The scribes and Pharisees who were the religious leaders at that time. He continually spoke. What and why? He did not guide any people the way they're supposed to be guided. You understand? They're not telling them the things that will make them enter into the kingdom of heaven. They're not telling them the things that will make them change. That will make them stop doing what they're, what they're, what they're not supposed to be doing. They're not telling them the things that will make black Hispanics and Native Indians stop smoke weed, stop sell drugs to their brother, come off of homosexuality, um, abortion and all these vile things, prostitution and all these things. They're not telling them the things that they need to hear for them to stop. You understand? Go ahead. Hypocrites, mm -hmm. for you make clean the outside of the cup. For you make what? For you make clean the outside of the cup. You understand? So Christ is saying, you make clean the outside of the cup. You make clean the outside of the Christian church. You make it look good. You understand? You make what what whatever you're teaching make look nice. You clean the outside. You make it look shiny. You make it look attractive. Go ahead. And of platter. Mm -hmm. But and within. The, and the platter. Mm -hmm. But within. But what? But within. Mm -hmm. They are full of extortion. You understand? But and with, excess. But within Christian church, full of extortion ex and excess. You understand? Christ knew the mindset of these religious leaders. In the Christian church, they're full of extortion and excess. You understand? As I said before, no difference from the pastor that have the, 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 the 29 million in the Christian church. They're full of extortion and excess. And when our people need help in these different locations, none of these pastors is to be found. After you continue, you continuously get years and years of tides. You understand? And the people need help now. People, even in their own congregation, they ain't coming and help them. You understand? They know where to be found. Go ahead. Verse 26. Mm -hmm. Matthew chapter 23 and verse 26. Go ahead. Thou blind Pharisees, cleanse first that which is within you the understand? cup. So Christ is saying you blind religious leaders. Telling them to cleanse first what is inside the cup. Cleanse first your mind. Cleanse first the things that you doing. Cleanse first the things that you going out there and learn. Try, try to understand what you're supposed to be teaching the people. Clean up you first. Clean up your act. Stop your hypocrisy. You understand? Go ahead. And, and platter mm -hmm. that the outside of them 
may be clean also. You understand? So that the other people, the people that are looking onto you, the people that are following, they will be clean also. You understand? But if you weren't clean, as you just did, of course, the people that live that following you would not be clean. You understand? Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Matthew chapter 23 and verse 27. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites. Go ahead. For you are like unto white sepulchers. You understand? You are unto like a white sepulcher. That is like a casket, like a coffin. Go ahead. Which indeed appear beautiful outwards. Which do what? Which indeed appear beautiful outwards. You understand? Outwards it appear beautiful. It appear nice. You understand? It clean. It looking fresh. Go ahead. But are within but, full of dead men. You understand? But within full of dead man bones. Full of hypocrisy. Full of lies. You understand? Full of deceit. Go ahead. And of all uncleanness. And every uncleanness. Full of every sin. That is against the most high. Go ahead. Verse 28. Mm -hmm. Even so, you also outwards appear righteous. You understand? So the Christian pastors and all these religious leaders outwards, they appear religious. They, they appear righteous. So like here. Go ahead. Unto men. Mm -hmm. So they, they're looking... That is my bishop, that is my deacon. People on the outside say, I'm a, I'm a pastor. Pastor say. You understand? Bishop say. My deacon say. My deaconess say. On the outwards, you appear to be righteous because you have everything going to amuse the eyes, to appease the eyes of, of the congregation. But within. But what? But within. But within. Within the own self, within the mind. Go ahead. You are full of hypocrisy. Hypocrisy. You're full of hypocrisy. And iniquity. It, and sin. You're full of things that you're telling people not to do. And you're doing it. You understand? And you're full of sin because, of course, once you're not following the Mosai, you're a sinner. You understand? So, as a Christian leader, you tell people, um, do it poor crab, shrimp, and lobster, and you still eating it? You is a sinner. Is a hypocrite because you're telling them to do one thing and then you coming back and do it. You understand what I'm saying? Eh? Give me, that is the enough, I'm 28. Thank Give me first John 4 and 20. It is important that our people understand that the Lord's commandments and status are most important for us to understand we are the commodity Christian church. The Christian church was not there. It was not there, it was not designed or set up to help us as a people. You understand? Christ spoke about these religious leaders. He spoke about the things that he's going to do. You understand? And you understand the things that we should watch out for. Go ahead. First John chapter 4 and verse 20. Mm -hmm. If a man say, I love God. And he hated his brother. You understand? And of course, there is any Christian church because Christian church claims that they love God. You understand? And they can't get along with one another that's right inside the congregation, that's right inside the church. You understand? What about neighbors who go into church against neighbors who are not going to church? Your own people. Right there, next door neighbor. One going to church and saying they love God, but when they come home, they're cussing out the, the next neighbor. You understand? Go ahead. He is a liar. You understand? He's a liar. If you say you love God, and do what? Take it from the top. First John chapter 4 and verse 20. Mm -hmm. If a man say, I, I love God. So you're going to church. You're saying you love God. Go ahead. And he hated his brother. And you hate your own brother. You hate your own neighbor. You hate blacks, Hispanics, and native Indians. Go ahead. He is a liar. He's a liar. You understand? Straight up and down is a liar. Go ahead. For he that loveth not his brother. For he that what? For he that loveth not his brother. Mm -hmm. Whom he had seen. So you, if you can't love your brother who you, could, who you could see. If you can't get along and try to understand your brother who you could see. You understand? Go ahead. How can you love God whom he had not seen? How can you love? How could you say you love God who you can't see? The person you're seeing right in front of you every day. You're going to church 
or you say you didn't love God, whatsoever the case might be, you understand? But in war with your neighbor, in war with your brother, how could they love God who you can't see? You understand? And of course, that is in the Christian church. The Christian church will only teach you about self. The Christian church will teach you brotherhood. The Christian church will teach you sisterhood. You understand? The Christian church will teach you to put your needs. Your, your brother needs, your brother and your sister needs in front of yours. The Christian church just teach you about self. You understand? But in the ISUPK, we do everything the most I say. You understand what I'm saying? You have to love your brother and your sister. And if you love your brother and your sister where you could see, of course you will love the most I where you can see. You understand? Christ and all come and tell you to love thy brother as you love yourself. Just paraphrasing the scripture. Right? Um, that is it on that? Done, done. All right, from there you give me Psalms, <coughs> Salakia, not Psalms. <coughs> you give me um, Ephesians chapter 6 and verse 12. 12, yeah, Ephesians chapter 6 and verse Go ahead when you have it. Yeah, go ahead when you have it. Ephesians want, chapter want to 6. Huh? The one that says them? No. Oh. Now that's here. <laughs> Hands on it. Yeah, go ahead. Ephesians chapter 6 and verse 12. Mm -hmm. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood. For we do what? For we wrestle not against flesh and blood. Mm -hmm. But against principalities. Against powers. Mm -hmm. Against rulers of darkness. You understand? So we wrestle not against flesh and blood. We don't fight. We, we understand here, SUPK, that the fight is not, the, is not to fight against flesh and blood. It's not to go out there and war these hidden nations with guns and ammunition and cutlass. You understand? That is not, that is not our mission, per se, so I should say. You understand? We, ask, we, or we understand the fight is not against flesh and blood, but principalities and powers. We understand that the fight is fighting against these other nations and the ideologies and the philosophies, the doctrines. You understand? The things that they're telling you to do that is against the Mosai. Go ahead. Of of rulers of darkness you understand? of this world. Of rulers of darkness of this world. The rulers of this world are dark, meaning what? They're not into the, the light. They're not in the, the, the light of the Mosai. The things that they're doing contrary to the Mosai. You understand? Because of course, for example, they're not supposed to be having abortions, but they set up abortion clinics all over. You understand? Rulers of darkness. They're not supposed to be smoking weed, but for some strange reason, the so-called black man, Hispanic man, and native Indian, they don't have no might in their hands, they don't have no power. All these other hidden nations like to talk about the lazy, they don't like to work. You understand? And all these different things. So now, how the drugs coming into our communities? How the drugs coming into the ghettos? You understand? And getting into the, the, the hands of, of so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians. By the hands of these other nations, the rulers of darkness. By the hands of the oppressors, by the hands of these hidden nations. They are the ones with the might and the power. You understand? They are the ones who have all the economic might, all the economic power. They are the ones who bring in the guns and the drugs and so forth. You understand? When brothers and sisters from the tribe of Asha come across there, who is the first ones to reach when they touch the soil to have them in their prostitution shops and in their groceries and in their restaurants working? You understand? Not us. Go ahead. Against spiritual wickedness, Against Against spiritual wickedness mm -hmm. in high places. Mm -hmm. You understand? So again, spiritual wickedness in high places. So now we continue, con continuously have to fight against that that um that spiritual wickedness. You understand? That principality and power. You understand what I'm saying? Um, that is it on that? Okay. Who is that one? From there. Oh, right. Um. So from there, you will give me the book of 
Micah chapter 2 and verse 10. Right? Because as, as blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians, we have to understand. Plenty of people like to say, the Trinity, the bone. You understand? They live in the country. And all these different things. Because the Christian church don't to up your head, don't to up your mind, and make you feel that you is native to this land. You understand? That you is you you born here, your bones have to remain here, you have to die here. Just like some they say, they're born at PM, they go die at PM. The born UNC, the dying UNC, and all the different things. This place where we in here right now, this is not our rest. This is not the place that the most I have said that we are supposed to inherit. You understand? Go ahead. Micah chapter 2 and verse 10. Mm -hmm. Arise. Ar you. Do what? Arise you mm -hmm. and depart. For this is not your rest. You understand? So arise and depart. That don't mean you have to get up and, and jump on a plane and go Ethiopia or Africa or down in, down in them zone down there. You understand? The most is telling you arise and do what? Arise you mm -hmm. and depart. For this is not your rest. You understand? This is not your rest. This is not the position that you're supposed to be in as blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians. You understand? You're not supposed to be a slave. You're not supposed to be a, <coughs> a servant under the hands of these hidden nations. You understand? You're not supposed to be contented with the current position that you're in, which is servitude. You understand? This is not the spot that you're supposed to be in. You understand? You're not supposed to be contented with it, with, 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 with but the things that you have right now, when I say, I don't mean you're picking up ammunition and things and going and, and, and rob and loot and all these different things. I'm not saying that. You understand? But the Moses is letting you know he chose you to be a special people unto himself. He severed you from all nations. You understand? Warn you about the religious leaders and letting you know this is not your rest. You're not supposed to be in servitude with these other, under these other nations. You understand? Give me I'm Jeremiah 2 and 14. As blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians, we have to understand the most I chose us to be above all people. And it's high time we wake up. You understand? And get in the fight to wrestle against these principalities and powers. Go ahead. Jeremiah. 2 and 14. Jeremiah 2. And verse 14. Mm -hmm. Is Israel a servant? Is what? Is Israel a servant? So Jeremiah is asking a question here. Jeremiah is saying, Is Israel is blacks, Hispanics, and native Indian servants? You understand? Because when you watch all the different captivities we go in over and over and over, he's asking a question now. Is that is that is Israel? Is that what we're supposed to do? You understand? Is we servants? Are we servants? Is that all we good and we know good to do? Go ahead. Is he a home-born slave? Is he a what? Is he a home-born slave? Is, is Israel a home-born slave? Slave? Go ahead. Why is he spoiled? Why is he spoiled? Why is, he spoiled? Why is Israel spoiled? Why blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians spoiled? Why? Think you can answer that question. Why blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians spoiled? Take a shot at it if you could. Cause. Why he asking is this point? Because when you watch with, with captivity after captivity, slavery after slavery, you understand? So now we ask him, why, why this happening to these people? Why is this point? Mm -hmm. Because like when you when you watching. We, we like when you watching like what we'll, we we'll go on with tea with tea people like you hear about the history of people like everybody everywhere we go all nations are taken all nations are taken over we mm -hmm. and it's happened up in captivity and even even up to present which part he is right now he's still in we still in captivity mm -hmm. of and course we're still in captivity yes <coughs> well i still in captivity mm -hmm. so now we like you want to know well, what we're really what really causing? What really causing this? Right, so you're onto it. He's saying, well, well, what happening? What causing this? So then, what causing that? What causing blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians to be under servitude under the hands of our oppressors, under the hands of the so-called white man, the East Indian, the Chinese, and all these different nations? What? What is the cause? I? 
What caused us to reach in that position? To be a servant, to be a homeborn slave, to be spoiled. What thing caused us to be in that position? We we break the Mosai. That is as simple as it is. You understand? Lord so Jeremiah is asking, why is he spoiled? You understand? And we are spoiled as blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians because we broke the com laws, commandments, and statutes of the Mosai. You understand? We didn't want to follow what Moses say. We wanted to continue keeping, we wanted to continue doing our own thing. You understand? Right? Um, that is another trait. Give me Ecclesiastes 10 and 7. When you have it, we read it one time. Thank God. Ecclesiastes 10 and 7. Ecclesiastes 10 and verse 11. 7. 10 and 7. 10 and 7? Yeah. That's right. Yeah. I don't see him. Ecclesiastes 10 and verse 7. Mm -hmm. I have seen servants upon horses. I have what? I have seen servants upon horses. So now he's saying he's seen servants upon horses. Go ahead. And prince and prince and prince mm -hmm. walking as servants upon the earth. What do you think that means? <clears throat> so, so I can know. So like, there's a there's a there's a shocker here, you know, because mm -hmm. like the the servants and them is the the servants should be the one who should be walking on the ground. Mm -hmm. That is it. And now it's like the the prince and them the prince now they them, them should be which should be royalty, the royalty on the ground. So you the the ground. You understand? So what he's showing you right there is that the positions reverse. He's seeing servants. Go ahead, take it from the top. I have seen servants upon mm -hmm. horses. So blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians, the servants that you so that's supposed to be serving you, he's saying he's seen them on top horses in high position. The up there, the up top. Go ahead. And prince walking as servants upon the earth. You understand? And the ones that's supposed to be served, walking as servants of the earth. The ones that's supposed to be served in servitude. You understand? Servitude to servants. Again, we slip from keeping the laws, commandments, and statutes of the Mosai because we wasn't guided right by our religious leaders. They are the ones who are supposed to be our strong to our gate. But our gate has language that the scriptures say. You understand? Our gate says weak. But of course, the ICPK is here for all blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians. You understand? So that we will be in right standing with the Mosai. We will be doing what is right in the sight of the Mosai. You understand? Go ahead. Um, that is in a, um, it's 10 and 7, right? Bang, bang. Right. So it is very important that we understand this thing. Give me Baruch 4, 1 to 7. Baruch 4, 1 to 7. Right? Baruch chapter 4, verse 1 to 7. Four. Yeah, verse 1 to 7. Okay. Baruch chapter 4, verse, verse 1. Mm -hmm. This is the book of commandments of God. This is the what? The book of commandments of this God. This is the book of the commandments of the Mosai, of, of the Mosai power. You understand? Go ahead. And the law that endureth forever. And the what? And the law that endureth forever. And this law is to endure forever. So when you Christian pastor say the laws of God are done away with, and we don't have to keep the laws, you understand? <clears throat> In book is letting you know it's supposed to endure forever. It have no going around that. The laws is to be kept forever. Go ahead. All they that keep it. All who? 
All they that keep it. All they that keep it. All those that keep the laws, commandments, and statutes of the Most High. Go ahead. Shall come to life. They should what? Shall come to life. You is going to come to life. That breath. That breath will be breathed upon you. You understand? When we go out and prophesy to our, our brothers and sisters out in the streets, and when we keep in these classes, <clears throat> and they come to understand that they're supposed to keep the laws, commandments, and statutes of the Most High. You understand? And you get in contact with different camp leaders throughout the, the IFCBK, throughout the, 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 the globe, in different cities and different towns. And you start to come keeping these laws, commandments, and statutes of the Most High. You now come to life. You now breathe that breath of life. You understand? Go ahead. But such as leave it. But what? But such as leave it. But, but those that leave it, those that don't want to follow it, or those that already follow it and decide, boy, you see me, this is getting under my skin. Let me leave. Those that leave it, stop following the laws, commandments, and statutes, or don't want to follow it, go ahead. Shall die. They shall what? Shall die. This is going to die. You understand? The most high wrath will be kindled upon you and he is going to die. You understand? Go ahead. Verse 2. Mm -hmm. Turn thee, O Jacob. Turn who? Turn thee, O Jacob. And of course, we know Jacob's name was turned to Israel, was changed to Israel, slack here. You understand? So, you saying what? Turn ye, O, J o Israel, O blacks, Hispanics, and native Indians. Go ahead. And take hold of it. And do what? And take hold of it. And take hold of it. Take hold of the Lord's commandments and statutes of the Most High. Keep them. Do them. Teach them throughout your generations. Your sons and your sons' sons. As we read earlier on. Go ahead. Walk in the presence of the light thereof. And do what? Walk in the presence of the light thereof. You understand? And walk in the presence of the light. These Lord's commandments and statutes is that light. Is that guide. You understand? Just a minute. Let me look. Let me look for this scripture. Here. Just a minute. Hold, hold it right there. Hold it right there. Let's see if I can find this. Go ahead. Go ahead, go ahead. Total at the time. Total at the time. Go ahead. Go ahead. That thou may yet be eliminated. That what? That thou may yet be, be eliminated. You understand that you may, may be eliminate, illuminated. You understand? That people on the outside watching will see that light in you. When you keep any laws, commandments, and statutes, they're going to know, hey, wait now. He don't smoke. You understand? He not into adultery. He's not selling drugs to your brother. He don't deal with these, these kind of things. You understand what I'm saying? He not into these different ideologies and philosophies because you're keeping the laws, commandments, and statutes of the most high. You is the one who will be illuminated. They will see that change in you, that light in you. Go ahead. Or that is the end on, on that. That is the end of two. That is the end of two? Go ahead. Go straight. Mm -hmm. Give not thy honor to another. Mm -hmm. Don't give your honor to another. Don't give that honor to another nation you understand go ahead know the things that are profitable mm -hmm. unto thee to a strange nation you understand don't give the things that are profitable unto you to a strange nation go ahead verse 4 mm -hmm. o israel o who o israel o blacks hispanics and native indians o israel go ahead happy are we for the for things that are Pleasing to the Most High. You understand? Happy are we. For the things that are pleasing to the Most High, these laws, commandments, and statutes, these righteous things that are pleasing to the Most High. I made known unto us. I do what? I mean, no, I, I made known unto us. It is made known unto us. You understand? We blacks, Hispanics, and native Indians, we are the ones that, the, that these things were made known unto. Right? Yes, sir. Hold on. Let me go to. Boom, boom, boom.
I'm going to go to the book of Psalms. Hold on one minute. This thing's trying to trip, you know. You go ahead, you want to see some? Yeah. Oh. Hold on. Now you take it from the top again. By the time I'm looking. First four. The flip back this thing. Yeah. Did they reach now, eh? Come, come. Yeah, go ahead. Baruch chapter 4 and verse 4. Mm -hmm. O Israel, mm -hmm. happy are we for things that are made slap ya. Baruch chapter 4 and verse 4. O Israel, happy are we for things that are pleasing to the most high are made known unto us. Mm -hmm. Things that are pleasing to the most high, it is made known unto us. That is the whole of verse 4. Can, can. Right? Hold on. We'll go to the book of, of, of Psalms chapter 147 verse 19 to 20. Right? You understand? His statutes and judgment unto Israel. He had not dealt so with any nation. So the most I have not dealt the way he dealt with Israel to show him his laws, commandments, and statutes, the things that he needed to do throughout his nation. He has not dealt so with any other race, with any other na um, nationality on the face of the planet. These laws, commandments, and statutes are given unto one people. You understand? He has not dealt so with any nation, and for his judgments, they have not known them. Praise the Lord. So when we read in Baruch, go ahead, read it from the top again. Baruch chapter 4 and verse 4. Mm hmm O Israel, mm -hmm. happy are we. Happy are we. We is the ones that are going to be rejoicing. Go ahead. For things that are pleasing to the most high. For things that are pleasing unto the most high, things that are right and righteous. Go ahead. Are made, are made known unto us. You understand? It is made known unto us. Blacks, has, Hispanics, and Native Indians only. You understand? Go ahead. Hmm? Baruch chapter 4 and verse 5. Mm -hmm. Be of good cheer. Be of what? Be of good cheer. Be of good cheer. Go ahead. My people. Mm -hmm. the, mo the memorial of Israel. The what? The memorial of Israel. Mm -hmm. Verse 6. Verse 6. You were sold to the nations. You were what? You were sold to the nations. Mm -hmm. Not for your destruction. Mm -hmm. But because you moved it, the most high to rot. You understand? So we were sold to these nations, not for the not for our destruction. The most high didn't sold us. The most high didn't let us be in the hands of these hedonic nations for our destruction. You understand? You're going to understand why. Go ahead. But what? We are not sold to the nations, but you will not sold to the nation, mm -hmm. not for your destruction. You sold for our destruction. Go ahead. But because you moved it, the Mosai to rot. But be because we moved the Mosai to rot. Because we didn't want to keep the Lord's commandments and statutes. We want to do as we please. You understand? The Mosai was moved to rot and we were sold to the other nations. Go ahead. You were delivered unto the enemies. He was what? You were delivered unto the enemies. You understand? So now, we were delivered unto who? Not friends, but enemies. Go ahead. Verse 7. Mm -hmm. For you provoked him that made you by sacrificing mm -hmm. unto devils. You understand? So we started sacrificing unto devils. We started doing things that the most I told us not to do. We want to... <coughs> Follow all the customs of the heathens, eat pork, crab, shrimp, and lobster, commit adultery. We want to do things that the Most High said we're not supposed to do. We started doing the customs of the heathenic nations. You understand? Go ahead. And not to the Most High. And we didn't want to follow nothing the Most High tell us to do. We didn't want to keep Purim. We didn't want to keep peace of dedication. We didn't want to keep Hakanika. We didn't want to keep Passover. We didn't want to do nothing like that. Go ahead. Verse 8. Mm -hmm. No, that is, it, that is it on verse 7. Thank Give us Zephaniah 2 and 1 and we'll close off with that. Go ahead. 
Zephaniah chapter 2 and verse 1. So, Zephaniah chapter 2 and verse 1, we're going to read what we're supposed to do as blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians. You understand? Because we're supposed to keep the Lord's commandment and statutes of the Mosai. We're not supposed to be following these heathen nations. You understand? We're supposed to get out of the Christian church because in the Christian church, they're not going to teach you not, not inside the Bible. They're not going to teach you how to change. They're not going to teach you the Lord's commandments and statutes of the Mosai. They're not going to teach you that you are oppressed you're not going to teach you that you're in the land of your captivity you're not going to teach you what what you need to do to get out you're not going to teach you that we're in the last days and christ is going to make his second return you're not going to teach you that the judgment and the wrath of the most high is upon the face of the earth when we see all these things happening you understand and what we need to do as a people right now go ahead Zephaniah chapter 2 and verse 1 mm -hmm. Gather yourself together. Do what? Gather yourself together. So we as blacks, Hispanics, and native Indians, we need to gather ourselves together. It's not time for us to be in the hands of, of, of holding hands with our oppressors. It's not, it's not the time to be holding hands with our enemies. You understand? Go ahead. Yeah. Gather together. Whole nation not desired. You understand? We is the nation not desired. We are the ones that all these hedonic nations do not love. They don't love us. You understand? There will be one or two of them in between there that saying all kind of nice things about us. But as a nation, they don't love us. And when we get ourselves together, we come in now to start building back our nation. You understand? Because all these hedonic nations in the book of Psalms, they come together, they conspire to do what? To make us be in no remembrance no more. Start to call us Africans and all these different things. And have us running behind all, all other imagination in this world. When our laws, our culture, our history is right in this Bible. You understand? And of course, only the ISUPK is going to learn that through commanding General Hannah, the generals, the captains, and, and, and officers coming down. You understand? Fly out of the Christian church. It's time to come out. We need to gather ourselves together. Whole oh, nation not desired. Go ahead. Yeah. Zephaniah chapter 2 and verse 2. Before the decree, the, before the decree bring forth. You understand? Before the decree come forth. Go ahead. Before the days pass as the shaft mm -hmm. be, before the fence. Fence, fence anger. Yeah. Right. Of the Lord come upon you. You understand? Before the fierce anger, the most high, come upon you. You understand? Before that day of judgment, come upon the land. Before it come upon you, so-called blacks, Hispanics, and native Indians. You understand? And with that, it's time for us to come back, keeping our laws, commandments, and statutes. We the feast of period on Friday. You understand? Come and understand that you supposed to be keeping... The feast, not the feast of period, my my um my my bad. The feast of first fruits. You understand? Friday, come and understand that that is what you're supposed to be keeping. The high holy days are the most high. Not these pagan holidays, not these holidays are the heathens. You understand? And with that, we'll pass the class of priests over to priest and officer Shah. Security announcement. We are the ISCPK out of 125th Street, Harlem, New York, under Commandant General Johanna. New rules for brothers and sisters. When a new brother or sister comes into the school, they are off limit for six months. They are here to be saluted only. They are here to shed themselves of the world. After six months, if a brother or sister has an interest in a particular person, he or she must get permission from the head to speak to a brother or sister. There is another six months in which a brother or sister will court each other. After this six months period, the brother or sister will get permission from the head to marry. Tithe, which is a commandment. You can find this in Numbers chapter 18 verse 21 and Malachi chapter 3 verse 8 to 10. It means tenth in Hebrew and it, uh, and it pronounced as Mishra. Ten percent of every penny of every increase the Lord gives you to the treasury department or teacher, priest fund, free red offering for priests, non-mandatory. 
whatsoever amount you would like to give upcoming holy convocation the 5th of june sundown mm -hmm. Minor feast, of, feast of first fruits. Feast of first fruits. Mm -hmm. That will be the fifth of June sundown. Minor aquariums and aquatum to check on social media such as ISCPK, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and so on for ISCPK events and materials. If your brother wants to be a trooper in the school, then he should start wearing all black, which includes black boots, light shirt, light pants, light head, and of cast. Where do you see Marge? <laughs> When I say the Lord's Prayer in Hebrew, Abenawa, Shabbat Shemayim, Badash, Ayah, Samka, Yahawa, Balakwaka, Taba'a, Ratazaka, Ayah, Aisha, Aratiza, Kawa, Ayah, Bashemayim, Natan, Lanawa, Lakom, Kal, Yawam, but but by a say one, I say one. A ball, a ball. Oh, shine now, shine now. My young, my young. Right, right. Aya, aya. A car, a car. A bolakwa, a bolakwa. Wala a, wala. What a parat, a parat. Lai, lai al, walamiyom. La ai walamiyom. Aman, aman. In English, what we just said, our Father, our Father, which art in heaven, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, be thy name. Yahweh, Yahweh, thy kingdom come, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, thy will be done, in earth, in earth, as it is in as heaven. As it is in heaven, give us this day, give us this day, our daily bread, our daily bread, and forgive us, and forgive us, our debts, our debts, as we forgive, as we forgive, our debtors, our debtors, lead us not, and lead us not into temptation, into temptation, but deliver us, but deliver us from evil, from evil. For thine is the kingdom, for thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the power, and the glory, and the glory, forever, forever. So be it, so be it. Amen, amen. We're going to say the blessings in Hebrew. Barak, Barak, Ata, Ata, Yahawa, Yahawa, Why, Why ya, Yasha, Washa, Why ya, Yasha, Yasha, Wa, Wa ma ya ka ala, Wa ma ya ka ala, Wa al la hayam, Wa la hayam, Matazabia, Matazabia, Ala wap yahana, Ala wap yahana, Ha al Ala wapiam, ala wapiam, asaraniam, asaraniam, ha kwata yan yan yam, ha kwata zal yan yam, ha kal yal yam, ha kal yal yam, wa hal, wa watiam, wa watiam, yahawa, yahawa, bashem, bashem, awashai, awashai, the waraman, the waraman. What we just said in the English, bless you, Yahweh. Bless you. And Yahweh Shai. And Yahweh Shai. And Michael. And Michael. And the angel. And the angel. Commanding General Yahweh. Commanding General Yahweh. General. General. Captain. Captain. Your officer. Officer. The troopers. Troopers. And the sisters. And the sisters. Yahweh. Yahweh. In the name of Yahweh Shai. In the name of Yahweh Shai. Thank you. Thank you. So be it. So be it. You going to say the Hakkat in Hebrew? Yahweh. Yahweh. Ba'ashem. Ba'ashem. Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai. Ba'ashem. Ba'ashem. Latan Lanawa. Latan Lanawa. Akat, 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 akat. La, la rapa, la rapa. Kal mada one, makal, makala, kal makala. Wakal mada one, wakal mada wo. Akat, akat. La ta, la ta ha. Ha tama, ha matazayam, ha matazayam. Akat, akat. La ha kwayam, ha kwayam. Ha mata, ha matayam, matayam. Akat, akat. I walk around, I walk around. Atamala, Atamala, La Garshin, La Garshin, Bahashim, Bahashim, Oshai, Oshai, Wadaman, Wadaman. What we just said in English, Yahweh, Yahweh, the name of Yahweh Shai, name of Yahweh Shai. Please give us the power, please give us the power, power to heal, power to heal, all man of sickness, all man of sickness, and all man of disease, and all man of disease. The power to cleanse the leper, power to cleanse the leper, power to raise the dead, power to raise the dead, the power against unclean spirits, power against unclean spirits, to cast them out, to cast them out. The name of Yahweh Shai, the name of Yahweh Shai. Thank you, thank you. So be it, so be it. What you're going to say is you pray for the curses. Bless you, Yahweh. Bless you, Yahweh. King of heaven and earth. King of heaven and earth. All things living. All things living. Yahweh. Yahweh. Name of Yahweh. Name of Yahweh. Listen to us now. Listen to us now. Right now. Right now. Send evils and curses. Send evils and curses. And punishment and destruction. Punishment and destruction. To the heathen. To the heathen. That speak against that us. Speak against us. Like prophets. Like prophets. Teachers. Teachers. The princes. Princes. The priests. The priests. The Israelite like brothers. Like brothers. And the school. And the school. Send evils and curses. Send evils and curses. And punishment and destruction. And punishment and destruction. To the heathen. To the heathen. And shake. 
loose. I shake loose. The treasure of the rich. The treasure of the rich. Of Israel. Of Israel. I refuse to give to the school. I refuse to give to the school. Force their riches. Force their riches. Sent into thy sanctuary. Sent into sanctuary. Sent evils and curses. Sent evils and curses. And punishment and destruction. And punishment and destruction. To the Edomites. To the Edomites. And the nation. And the nation. And their drug dealers. And their drug dealers. The court system. Court system. The prison system. Prison system. system. Planned parenthood. Planned parenthood. All the governments of our enemies. All the governments of our enemies. Amalek synagogues and armies. Amalek synagogues and armies. Woman Catholic Church. Woman Catholic Church. Pope. Pope. Islam. Islam. Christianity. Christianity. Egyptology. Egyptology. Militia. Militia. Ku Klux Klan. Ku Klux Klan. Aryan nation. Aryan nation. Skinheads. Skinheads. Fuzzy Komatazi. Fuzzy Komatazi. Gay movement. Gay movement. Lesbian movement. Lesbian movement. Spies. Spies. Workers of witchcraft. The army, army, navy, navy, air force, air force, marines, marines, Wall Street, Wall Street. Open up the internet, open up the internet, and the airways, and the airways, cable access, cable channel. access channel, and the radio channel, and the radio channel. Convict the spirit, convict the spirit of any of thy people, of any of thy people. That seek to stop us, seek to stop us, and bring swift destruction, and bring swift destruction to all the heathen, to all the heathen, and stand in the way, and stand in the way, try to stop and us, try to stop us from broadcasting your word, broadcasting your word throughout the planet Earth, throughout the planet. Let loose all the plagues, let loose all the plagues, cause them to go to and fro, cause them to go to and fro. And consume, them. and consume them. Let the plague shake. Let the plague shake. The house of the thief. House of the thief. And the murderer. And the murderer. Let the house shine. Let the house shine. Michael. Michael. And Gabriel. And Gabriel. Come down with the flying saucer. Flying saucer. And punish all the heathen. And punish all the heathen. That come up against that us. Come up against us. As we speak thy word. That speak thy word. Cause it to be known by all. Cause it to be known by all. That is the angels that have done it. That is the angels that have done it. Cause it to be spread through the media. Cause it to be spread through the media. Through the whole world. Through the whole world. Cause them to shake at thy coming. Cause them to shake at thy coming. In the name of your worship. In the name of your Thank you always. Thank you always. So be it. So be it. Go and say the blessed Israel. Yahweh. Yahweh. Bashem. Bashem. Oshai. Oshai. Rockland of War. Rockland of War. Wayat Yashrala. Yashrala. Wahabayat. Wahabayat. Separium. Separium. Parak. Parak. Rapa. Rapa. A gun. A gun. A gun. A gun. Commanding General Yana. Commanding General Yana. General. General. Captain. Captain. The officer. Officer. Troopers. Troopers. Sisters. Sisters. Children. Children. Kayalwana. Kayalwana. Barak Nepash. Barak Nepash. Shariah. Shariah. Kintian family. Kintian family. Osulan family. Osulan family. Janison family. Janison family. Philip family. Philip family. Koto family. Koto family. All the brothers and sisters in the ISPK. All the brothers and sisters in the ISPK. All the brothers and sisters fighting to come into the truth. All the brothers and sisters fighting to come into the truth. Francois family. Francois family. Wrong family. Wrong family. Zion. Zion. Wesleyan. Wesleyan. Jamelia. Jamelia. Daniela. Daniela. Nima. Nima. Khadija. Khadija. Trisha. Trisha. Ashida. Ashida. Chantel. Chantel. Angel. Angel. Basham, ba Basham, our shy, our shy, the water man, the water man. What you just said in English, Lord, Lord, in the name of your shy, bless us, bless us, and Israel, and Israel, and the school, and the school, bless, bless, heal, heal, shield, shield, protect, protect, our loved one, our loved one, the name of your shy, name of our shy, thank you, thank you, so be it, so be it, sir. Let's get a teacher, one because this is good. Imagine check back, imagine Barak. Yahweh ba Hashem ya Hashem ba kete. Yahweh ba Hashem ya Hashem ba kete. Yah yah di mata. Let's get the sisters online and warm to this signal. Imagine Shabbat. Imagine Barak. Yahweh ba Hashem ba Hashem ba Hashem. Yah di mata. Class is missed.